Hello, hello, my amazing creative friends, Oksansa here again. I am here to help you create art that fits your soul as well as your family. Uh, today I am uh, sharing the answer to a question that I've been asked a lot from my online course students, from uh, the audience here on uh, different platforms. And that question is, uh, can I use iPad to create professional quality vector repeat patterns? So uh, I will answer from the perspective of my own system that I work in. I know there are some people who are creating patterns on iPad. However, it is always tricky to export in professional quality formats in my experience, even though there are new ways popping up all the time. So something might change. But uh, from my perspective and based on the system that I teach specifically for vector repeat pattern designs for sale on Microstock and print on demand websites, here are the tips that I have for you uh, in comparing iPad Pro uh, with iPencil for drawing vector repeat patterns and elements. And uh, the, uh, another tool that I have and love and use is Wacom Intuos Pro uh, drawing tablet. So um, the iPad that I have here and I have it in my cover because I use my my daughter. You also uses it for her lessons, for her uh, school lessons, and um, I also have, as you noticed here, I have an eye pencil. This is how it looks like, and this is iPad Pro. How I use my iPad Pro, I actually really love it, and I use it for a lot of different uh, purposes around uh, the house. I use it for recipes. I use it for my kid. I also use it for uh, taking notes uh, and drawing and creating mind maps. So it's really cool in creative business. However, specifically for creating vector repeat pattern designs, professional quality ones, I use software Adobe Illustrator, which does not run on iPad yet at least. So I do use iPad for vector graphics in a way that I use an app, which is free and it's called Adobe Draw. And that app, you can draw directly in there a good quality vector elements that you can send to Adobe Illustrator on your computer and then turn it into a repeat pattern design. So this was the way that I am using it. I draw my elements on the iPad whenever I can, don't have access to Wacom Intuos. So Wacom Intuos is a special kind of tablet that you uh, can draw on. It does not have a screen. I uh, personally used the more expensive model, which is Cintiq, Wacom Cintiq, which has a screen. It didn't work for my posture. I was getting shoulder pains. I have a video on uh, about that on this channel as well. So I um, went to a physical therapist and he recommended that I sit straight. So I switched to Wacom Intuos. I draw on with my hand on the tablet and I look on the screen of my computer so that uh, I sit more straight. And this has been definitely helping my shoulders, my neck and generally being more healthy. So this is my experience. Of course, you might have your own experience. And I definitely loved drawing on Cintiq. However, back to Wacom Intuos. Uh, Wacom Intuos, in my experience and in how I, why I think it's really good thing to have is that you don't only draw with it, you actually use it in Adobe Illustrator as a mouse for all kinds of things, for scaling, for moving things around, for adjusting things quickly. So my advice would be if you can afford it or if you can buy it used or if you can borrow it to test it out for yourself, I definitely recommend Wacom uh, Intuos tablet Wacom Intuos Pro. There are also a few different levels and you don't have, a, you don't need a very big one for that. I use medium sized one and uh, mine is already a little bit older. It still works very well. Uh, so uh, in my experience, you can use both iPad and with iPencil and a Wacom Intuos tablet. You can use both for creating elements on iPad if you want. And then if you are working, you have your specific time of the day that you do your create your patterns. Then I sit down, I take my Wacom Intuos and then I using it, I create all of the 
my vector repeat patterns. Uh, and for years and years before I had an iPad, I was only drawing on Wacom Intuos. So you can totally get away without iPad at all. And if, if you ask me, should I buy both iPad and Wacom Intuos? I say, no, you don't need both. You totally can get away with only Wacom Intuos for all your professional design needs for Adobe Illustrator. And it's good for Photoshop. It's good for drawing and painting within your software. I have uh, practice tutorials and uh, set up the tutorials for buttons of Wacom Intuos. Also on this channel, I will link all of those down below under this video in the description that's so that you can learn how to set it up. If I had to redo it all over again, uh, I would buy Welcome into us for my professional design work. I would use it for uh, make drawing elements. I would use it for making uh, and putting together pattern compositions for everything and everything. And then if I am able later on, if I want, I would buy my iPad Pro. This is my advice. If you are curious how this kind of tool iPad uh, compares to Wacom into us, this is at this point in um, April 2020, this is the uh, advice that I give you. It might change in the future, technology changes, Adobe Illustrator might come to iPad, which would be pretty cool. And then still, we don't know the potential limitations that we will have on that tool yet. So this is my advice for you right now. All right, you guys, uh, please comment below. Are you using uh, Welcome into us or iPad or both for some kind of different drawing tablet maybe in your vector repeat pattern design work or other kinds of creative work? Please let us know in the comments below and let's uh, find out what everyone suggests. And if you want to uh, learn 15 of my best tips about how to color vector repeat pattern designs for uh, licensing online as well as uh, on Microstock websites as well as on print-on-demand website, please take a look at uh, my uh, brand new ebook that I created for you guys, which is free and it's uh, full of amazing tips that I created over 15 years. I wish I had this ebook when I was just starting out creating and licensing my uh, vector repeat patterns. It would definitely take away so many unnecessary rejections from those websites and I wouldn't be confused which colors can I use, how many of those colors, which color modes, all of that is answered for you in the ebook. So please, uh, the link is to this ebook is in the description box down below and in the info card on top in the co corner of this video so that you guys can uh, get your copy right away and find out all of those tips today. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button. That really, really helps my channel to create more videos for you guys so I know what you guys like and what topics to pick. And also, if you want to know how, um, when I post uh, new videos and be notified about that as well as my surprise YouTube lives that I do please uh, hit that notification button as next to subscribe well after you hit subscribe of course <laughs> and then you will be subscribed and you'll get the those notifications all right you guys I wish you the very very best and I uh, hope that you grow love and create uh, see you in my next video. Bye!